Here, we'll show you how to calculate the area of a force being applied when we are given the force and the pressure. In the previous problem, we discovered that a person with a 55 kilogram mass has a force of gravity of 539 newtons. The sole of the boot she's walking on has an area of 0.028 square meters. So the pressure applied by the boot is equal to force divided by area, which is 539 newtons divided by 0.028 square meters, which comes out to 19,250 pascals. In this problem, we'll consider the same 55 kilogram person with a gravitational force of 539 newtons taking a step with one foot on a snowshoe this time instead of a boot. The pressure applied to the snow during this step is found to be 4,492 pascals, considerably less than the 19,250 pascals applied by the boot. A snowshoe applies less pressure for the same force of gravity because the force is distributed over a larger area than the sole of a boot. We're asked for the area of contact the snowshoe has with the snow. Remember that pressure, expressed as 4492 pascals, is the same as 4492 newtons per square meter. The formula for pressure is pressure equals force divided by area, or P equals F divided by A. We're asked to find the area of the snowshoe, so we rearrange this equation to solve for area A. We start by multiplying both sides of the equation by A. A is in the numerator and the denominator on the right side, so it can be cancelled out, leaving us with only F on the right side. So we're left with the equation A times P equals F. In order to solve this equation for A, we divide both sides of the equation by P. P is in the numerator and the denominator on the left side, so it can be cancelled leaving us with only A on the left side. We'll just move the equation over here. In order to solve for A, we'll start by substituting 539 newtons in for force. Then we'll substitute 4492 newtons per square meter in for pressure. 539 divided by 4492 is equal to 0.12. Looking at the units, newtons are divided by the fraction newtons per square meter. In order to divide by a fraction, we invert the divisor and multiply, giving us newtons times square meters over newtons. Newtons will cancel out, leaving us with square meters as a unit, which we'll write down here. So the final answer is the area of the snowshoe is 0.12 square meters. In this table, we'll compare the mass and force of gravity of the person, the area of contact, and the pressure applied by taking a step with the boot and with the snowshoe. We'll start with the boot. The person wearing the boot has a mass of 55 kilograms which means she has a force of gravity of 539 newtons acting on her. The area of contact of the boot is 0 0.028 square meters, and the pressure applied by the boot onto the snow is 19,250 pascals. Because this pressure is so high, the boot will likely sink into the snow. Now we'll consider these quantities when she takes a step with a snowshoe. Her mass is still 55 kilograms. Here we'll ignore any difference in mass that would result by putting on the snowshoe. The force of gravity acting on her is still 539 newtons. The area of contact of the snowshoe is 0.12 square meters. The snowshoe distributes the force over an area greater than four times that of the boot. Finally, the pressure the snowshoe applies to the snow is only 4,492 pascals. This is less than a quarter of the pressure applied by the boot.
This low pressure applied to the snow means the snowshoe will not sink into the snow as much as the boot did. To summarize, we saw that the boot has a smaller area of contact, which results in a greater pressure. So the boot will likely sink into the snow. The snowshoe has a greater area of contact, which results in a lower pressure. Therefore, the snowshoe will not sink into the snow as much as the boot did. This is how snowshoes work. Yeah.